Hi, this is Harish Bali from technofed.com. Instagram is a photo sharing app that allows its users to apply filters on the images and then share the same. So what's so special about Instagram? First, it just takes two to three taps on your mobile to share picture. Second, you can easily share picture on Facebook, Flickr or Twitter directly from Instagram and share your creative side with the world. Third, since the pictures are public, so exposure is higher. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the unexplored features of Instagram to learn more. Watch this video. If you are new to Instagram, you will first need to download the app. Android users can go to Play Store and download it from there. iOS users can do the same from App Store. So once your download and installation is complete, you will need to create your account on Instagram. So after creating your account, open the app. Since I already have it on my mobile, so I am not doing this step. So I am directly going to open Instagram on my mobile. This is my home screen. These are the feeds that are coming in from people I am following. Instagram has some cool but unexplored features which I am going to cover in this tutorial. Let me first share with you how to apply filter on the image and then share the same on Instagram. For that click on this third icon at the bottom. I can share an image directly from my gallery or I can also take a photo and a selfie. So here I am. It's processing. There are many options that are available. You can see Juno slumber. Let's say if I click on Juno, there is a slight change on the pic that happens. Similarly, I can try out other options. If I want to keep the image as normal, I can keep it as normal by clicking on normal. Similarly, I can also go and manage my settings. So what this means is I can check these boxes out of a list of many options that are available and then go back. Now all these are appearing on my list. Second option that you see out over here is the Lux effect. Let me open this. You can increase or decrease the intensity. This is your requirement. And by clicking right, you can save it. Third option that you will see out over here is settings. Let me press that icon. There are a whole lot of options that are available like brightness, contrast, structure and there is a long list. Let me go back and share with you the best among these which is adjust. If I click anywhere on this picture this image will split into smaller boxes. This option in the center is the zoom in and zoom out. So let me move this from my mobile. I am pushing this left and image is rotating towards left. I can similarly move it to the right and cross it to take it to the zero level. Similarly, I can do a flip from top or to the right. Let's say if I click here, I can move it left and image will flip from the top. I think this is good enough. Let me now save it by clicking on right. It's processing. Now to share this image, click on this arrow at the top and you can put a caption to the image. This is a selfie. So I'm writing selfie. Another interesting feature of Instagram is that you can use this feature of add to photo map. So check this box. Let's say if this was taken at Domino's near my office. So I will write Domino's and place. This was at Pacific Mall Tagore Garden. So I'm checking this and it's adding this to the map. It's mentioned Domino's Rajori Garden. If I wish to share this image on Instagram only, I will click on this right. And if I also want to share it on Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, Tumblr or Flickr, assuming all these accounts are connected, I will click on the respective link. Let me share this on Instagram. So it's now part of my home feed. Another interesting feature of Instagram, which I missed mentioning was about sharing videos for which click on this option. If you want to create a selfie video or shoot a video, simply click on this red button at the bottom and press it and let the video play. You can record a video of up to 15 seconds. Moment you will release it, your video will stop. Now to share a video, click on this arrow at the right. Again, there are editing options that are available like the, like the ones that we saw in images. You can also go to this option and choose a frame for the video. You can also mute a video if you want by clicking here. Now to share this video, click on this arrow at the top right. Write the caption here and then click on this right button and video will be shared. 
Another interesting feature of Instagram is to send direct messages. For that, let me go back to my home screen. Click on this direct messages option at the top right. You can send a message and a picture to one person or up to a max of 15 people. For that, click on this plus button on the top right. Select the message that you want to click. I want to share this picture. So I'm selecting it. Click on this arrow from the top right. Choose the filter option and again click on this arrow. You can write the caption of the image and then click on this green button and your image will be shared with the recipient. For some reason, if you wish to edit the comment that you have posted, you can also do that easily. Go back to the home screen. If I wanted to edit this comment selfie, I will click on this three dotted lines and then edit. I can edit my comment here, selfie, let's say I want to write good morning and I can repost it by clicking here. Let me now go back to my home screen and show you how to prioritize messages that are important for you. Let's say I want to prioritize getting feeds from Robin Sharma for which I will click on this search option and search for Robin Sharma in this box. I'm already following Robin Sharma and if I want to see more of his posts, I'll click on these three dotted lines at the top and then click on turn on post notifications. So every time there is a message coming in from Robin Sharma through an image, I will be notified here. These were some of the wonderful but unexplored features of Instagram. I hope you found these features of Instagram useful and interesting. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.